Hi friends and welcome to chapel today. I am so glad that we get to be together. Today we are on the letter Z, which brings us to the end of our alphabet, but I still have a few more chapels after this. But today we're gonna to hear the story about a man named Zacchaeus. Can you say Zacchaeus? Zacchaeus. Let's say it one more time, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus didn't always do the right things or make the right choices, but he was loved by God. He got to meet Jesus, and it was a really cool story I get to tell with you today. But before we begin, let's say a prayer. I'll start and you say it after me. Let's pray. Loving God, today we worship you. Thank you for Jesus, who teaches us how to love. Send your Holy Spirit to help us worship. Amen. Amen. Let's sing with Miss Pam. Hi, preschool and kindergarten friends. This is Miss Pam. We have one last song for you this year, and this is called The Butterfly. And Pastor Katie is going to help do some motions that you all can do in your classrooms, and I will sing it, and eventually you can learn the words to this one too. Um. I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. If I were a wiggly worm, I thank you, Lord, that I could squirm. And if I were a crocodile, I thank you, Lord, for my big smile. And if I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Thanks, Miss Pam. I love our new song. Well, today's story comes from our New Testament, the part of the Bible where Jesus walked here on earth. And it's a story about Jesus and a man named Zacchaeus. Now there's a couple things you should know about Zacchaeus. First of all, he wasn't a very tall guy. He was kind of short. And everybody was getting together for this big parade because Jesus was coming into town and they all wanted to see him. And Zacchaeus couldn't see over top of everybody else. So he climbed up high in a tree so he could get a better view of where Jesus was. The second thing you should know about Zacchaeus is that he was a tax collector. Back in Bible times, when Jesus walked here on earth, tax collectors weren't always good guys. They usually cheated people out of their money. They didn't have a lot of friends. They were considered bad guys. And so there is Zacchaeus, a short little guy who didn't always make the right choices, up in a tree watching for Jesus. Well, as Jesus came into the town, he saw Zacchaeus. And out of everybody that was there, he went to go talk to Zacchaeus. He went to go see Zacchaeus. He said to Zacchaeus, come down out of the tree. I want to come to your house today. Now, everybody who was watching this happen wasn't very excited. I mean, after all, Zacchaeus wasn't a very good guy and they tried to tell that to Jesus, but Jesus still chose Zacchaeus, still chose to be with Zacchaeus, still chose to show love and compassion to Zacchaeus, still chose to hang out with Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus decided to change his whole life. He stopped cheating people, gave people back their money, turned his life around to serve and honor God, all because Jesus saw him one day in a tree. Now, do you see our message box today? Ah, it's right here. I couldn't put this thing in my message box because it's just too big, but it's a picture of a tree, that's right. Now Zacchaeus thought that by getting up in a tree, he would be able to see, but even though he was way up high in a tree, God still saw him. Even though Zacchaeus made sometimes the wrong choices, God still loved him. 
Even though nobody else wanted to be Zacchaeus' friend, Jesus still chose him. This week, remember that no matter what you do or where you go, you are loved by God. The story of Zacchaeus tells us that we are loved by God. No matter where we go, no matter how we wander, no matter how high we climb, we are loved and chosen by God. Let's sing a song with Mr. Devin. Hi, I'm Devin. I am the contemporary worship leader here at Mumsy, and I'm going to play every move I make. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace everywhere I look, I see your face. Your love has captured me. Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Every step I take, I take in you. You are my way, Jesus. Every breath I take, I breathe in you. Waves of mercy, waves of grace everywhere I look. I see your face, your love has captured me. Oh my God, this love, how can it be? Thanks, Mr. Devin. Well, this week, I hope you will remember that you are loved. The story of Zacchaeus tells us that Jesus loves us just as we are and that we are beloved children of God. Can I pray for you and for your families? Loving God, thank you so much for these precious children and for the reminder today that we are loved by you. Help us to remember that nothing can keep us from your love. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. And see you next week.